In this video, I'm gonna share with you what no American shares with anybody, their salary. I'm gonna share with you my first web developer salary, and to prove it, I'm gonna show you one of my paychecks. Oh yeah, we're going there. We are going there. Hey everybody, what's up? It's RTC here. I thought I'd push the envelope a little now that I'm out of the nine to five rat race. I'm gonna show you with physical proof what my first salary was. Now that I am no longer a part of the nine to five web developer ecosystem. This is kind of like ancient history to me, even though it's not. This is from like, what, like a year and a half ago. Um, this pay stub I'm gonna show you, or this actually full check I'm gonna show you. Um, so it's not like, oh, people are gonna judge me. Like, I don't care if you judge me. This is just to show you um, my experience as a professional web developer. I'm a self-taught web developer. I learned the MERN stack. To be honest, I didn't use a lot of the intermediate skills I practiced when building my own projects at this job. We were working with proprietary languages, a lot of PHP, which I kind of knew, um, just basic beginner stuff so many other technologies that I've talked about in different videos. The owner of this company knew I was new and we talked on the phone for about a half hour um, and he just said straight up, listen, I know you're new, but I get a good, <laughs> this is what he said after the interview. I know you're new, but I get a good feeling um, that you're trustworthy and you can show up. I like the fact that you're an Air Force veteran um, and he did not even mention anything about, you know, my projects or anything like this on the conversation during the conversation. He didn't mention anything about how I could be helpful code wise. This company was very dysfunctional, but I will give the guy this. He took a chance on me as a beginner, even though all I had was a junior developer portfolio. I did have some freelancing pieces in there but he took a chance on me. So for that, I'm very grateful and I learned so much. So during this phone conversation, he also gave me an offer of, boom, 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 $35,000. Now mind you, this is in a city, it's in flyover country that no one cares about. Okay, this isn't Amazon, this isn't Facebook. This is a small company nobody's heard of. People with mad tech skills aren't moving to the city this business is located in. Okay, we'll just put it that way. No one's moving to this city, except someone like me who wants the experience and wants to get a foot in the door. But even still, $35,000 was, I mean, that's not very much at all. That just, I mean, I would make more, I would make more writing essays for college kids, a lot more. So on the phone, I said, listen, appreciate the offer, but I do need a few days to think about this. Meanwhile, like really inside, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm not gonna go work for this guy, 35,000? That's like really insulting. So I emailed him a few days later. I said, and I thought about it, and I said, okay, like there's the job here. I can always leave if it sucks. I said, I will take the job for $45,000. Plus there are some benefits too. Your bare boned basics. Uh, so 45K plus your bare bone basics. And he said, yes. So my salary at my first web dev job was $45,000. And this is my check after taxes. All right, so this check is from actually June. I started the job in April, but this is still based on my starting salary of 45,000. This is of course after taxes, it's $1,532. And don't forget, 34 cents. Yep, this guy got started with computers in the 80s. He built his own software suite on an IBM AS400. It was his baby. And because the IBM AS400 is very good at doing a lot of things, it's also good at doing payroll. I mean, why bother with direct deposit when the AS400 can take care of it? So this was not just a one-time thing. Like these checks, these checks were a regular thing. Uh, a little inconvenient. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but this is just, to give you a little taste of the type of technology we were working with and trying to fuse that with web development. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video, this was a senior role. I was a junior developer. I had the junior skills, the junior tech skills, but this was a senior role and it was very challenging for me and I learned a lot because I was asking a lot of questions because I was in training so much of the time. 
because I had to say, you know, this is a, a really tough question, a really tough problem, a coding challenge that I just can't figure out because, like again, because a lot of this stuff was proprietary language stuff and the really complex problems not on Stack Overflow. Like you can't Google a lot of the problems this company had. Um, so because I was asking a lot of questions and getting a lot of training, I feel like 45K was fair for that area. I mean, it's all relative to like 45K, forget about it on the coasts. That's a salary you can live on in the Midwest and some states in the South. And then from there, just keep upgrading. It was a family owned business and we can talk about that in another video. That's a really good topic. Uh, but I will say he was always tra very transparent about how he would reward uh, good coding behavior with raises. So that is one good thing um, about that company. Anyways, I wanted to share this because this is a topic that is strictly verboten um, in the States. I don't know about your country if you're watching this from outside the US, um, but talking about your salary, talking about how much you make every year is totally off limits. Um, and I'm a victim of that as well, because when I was, um, you know, working at that place, I didn't show my check. I waved it in front of the camera, then I, I blurred out like the actual amount. Um, it's a very sensitive topic. I think it does have some good reasons for being that way, um, but I did want to share. So yeah, base salary 45K plus some bare bones benefits, uh, you know, not bad for a first dev job where a lot of the time I was asking questions and in training mode. Now, to be fair, I did contribute a lot to their code base, code bases, but I think it was fair. I think it was a fair deal and I have a lot to talk about on the YouTube channel because of it. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. Real Tough Candy is the classiest bitter chicken on the YouTube. Oh,